Once upon a time, in a galaxy not so very far away, far enough that the best of the shamans, the star seekers, and the ones who remember could find them, lived the A'a Katui. These resplendent beings of light knew nothing but joy, peace, and bliss, living in a field of eternal happiness that spanned on without time, without space, as all that is. The A'a Katui, the purest beings of light, eventually grew bored, wondering what other experiences might be like. They devised of a game, a game of hide and seek, to get lost and find their way back home again. Two beings stepped forward, those excited to take on this challenge. Moot and Shisahat. Moot stepped forward as mother, progenitor of this new race of beings. She who would hold the cords to bring them home when the time was right. Shisahat devised of the Akashic Records. A way of using this star technology to create a reality, a web, a game with which you could navigate if you knew the right keys. Three star waves came from Moot, raining down upon this new planet Earth. Homing beacons, always ready, pulsating with such sweet love, vibrations, and remembrances of this place and time, where the resplendent beings, the radiant ones, shone in all eternity. The keys were left hidden within matter and density, only to be found by those who were seeking them. Looking down upon this new planet, the beings here, the most primitive and densest of matter, one might call them monkeys, but our star beings knew better. Three terrains existed within each being, the low self, the middle self, and the high self. Each honing beacon, when properly activated, would shine into these regions of the individual body and would be remembered. The gods all agreed this was a most excellent idea, and one by one handed over their most divine essence, a droplet of their god blood, to Moot, to be sent down through the star waves. Shisahat, as master of time and space, knew the appropriate time would come and the keys must be very well hidden. Hidden in the most obvious and in the least obvious of places for those sincere seekers to find their way home. These star waves of the Sa Ba Ka, the stargates, keys that were hidden within the matter that could be turned on proper training and proper access. The Sa Ba Ka eternally calling home, reminding these beings of their true nature, of their true light. Yet only the brave enough, those courageous enough to look within the shadows, those who were willing to walk outside of a prescribed reality to remember. They would be granted all of the keys and abilities and delight of remembering the highest truth of their existence. Yet stepping outside of this paradigm is never an easy endeavor. Little did the star beings know this as the game was created, as the dice were cast, as these waves of beingness and forgetfulness beamed back and forth through space and time, through time immemorable. These three waves of the Saba Ka came from each god into each human, waiting ever patiently for the magnificence to be remembered, sought, and activated. Each of these star waves activated a different stargate within the brain, within the body. The Ka 
ever grasping, ever hungering and desire to remember its truth. The spirit that becomes trapped within the human, forgetting its true nature, disconnected, ignorant, forgetful of the place and the truth from whence it came. The bird-brained Ba, dwelling within the heart, irritatingly making the best of every situation, making logic and sense of even the most heinous of circumstances. And yet, the only one truly capable of experiencing all of the delights of Earth, yet forgetful as well of its true nature. The sound of Ba Ah, constantly lost in its own pleasure and contentment. Sometimes remembering there's another way, but oftentimes making the very best of this human endeavor. The Sa, the pure seed of the God self, the one who knows itself to be one with source, never separated, never forgotten and also ignorant of its current state within this human body. These waves of Sa Ba Ka, the Sa, the house of your God Self, the purest drop of your divine blood, and also your way out. It's your escape hatch to find your way home for those who are sincerely ready to remember the truth of all that you are, have been, and always will be. With these star waves at the ready, the gods and goddesses, the A'a Katui, waiting, timeless, curious. For in this human incarnation, evolution is the game to find the divine light of the blackest of the black Ka find within your body the keys of an exalted experience. To let love be penetrating of all matter. To see only love. Ah, the Ba is contented. To remember that heaven is within your body. The keys within your throne is the gift of the Sa bringing this God into form at every turn and every breath. For here is where freedom lies, to leave and return to the stars, to remember the truth of divinity, the truth of an expansive reality, cosmic galactic delights far beyond any comprehension. The greatest of souls evolve through the Ka, Ba, and Sa, returning to self. And yet, suffering on this plane exists, and the Sa, in its infinite love, returns back to become the Ka, to forget once again, and begin another journey of evolution. The game of the gods, devised in its perfection, naive in its challenges. The keys lie not only in the mystery, but also within you. For you are the star being reborn. The keys of Saba Ka, the star beams beaming into you when brought into form, when consciously evolved and work with, become the elixir of liquid love throughout all of the galaxies. For this is your way home, and how you become again a god. <laughs>